Hi, this is Jado, and welcome to the first feature guide for WolvenKit. On this video, what we're going to do is uh, take a look at WolvenKit's feature set, the pipeline, and uh, we'll show you how to make the little edit uh, in the bottom right there of Judy. Uh, you'll see you've got Sammy on her neck there instead of the usual tattoo. First thing we'll do is go ahead and create a new project, uh, and then we're going to have a look in the asset browser here. Use the navigation on the left here to navigate to uh, Judy's folder. One more folder. There we go. We'll see the decal mesh there with DEC. I'll take a look at the mesh preview here, and that is indeed uh, the file that we're looking for. We'll double click and add that to our project. You'll see it lands in the mod directory. We'll export this with materials. That's important. And then we'll turn off the LOD filter. If you miss that, uh, your mesh will be clipping through the base mesh, the decal mesh that is. Uh, then we'll export with uh, TGA textures, just that's what I prefer. Uh, you'll see when it's exported, you have a mirror then of the mod directory with the raw file or the GLB file uh, inside the same location. Now let's go ahead and open this material JSON to get an idea of what we're uh, looking at here. These are all of the material properties inside the mesh file. Uh, we'll use this to preview the mesh with Blender here. So use the Cyberpunk Blender add on. And find that mesh and just make sure you use the same texture type that you used in woven kit in my case that's TGA okay now let's use cycles to take a look at the mesh a little too dark all right there we go just to get a better idea of what we're looking at here look at the tattoo there at the texture have a look in the image editor Okay, so this is the decal sheet for Judy. What we're going to do is add a brand new decal sheet. So back to WolvenKit. Let's go ahead and find that texture. You'll notice that uh, the search function for WolvenKit is folder sensitive. So we're going to navigate to the top archive folder. Otherwise, it will only search the folder uh, that you have uh, currently selected. That's why we search the whole game. And there it is. You'll notice the texture looks a little strange because the alpha map doesn't come through on the XBM. I'll double click and add that to our project and then go ahead and export this texture here as well. Once again, I prefer uh, TGA textures. Okay, you'll see we've got two copies of the texture, the DDS and the TGA. All right, now you'll always get the DDS texture, along with the uh, texture type of your choice. I'll open this with GIMP here, which is a free tool you can use to uh, edit textures. Let's go back real quickly here into Blender, and what we're going to do is export the UV map uh, to get a better idea of uh, how the textures are mapped onto Judy's neck. Make sure that's at the same resolution as uh, your decal sheet here. That's 1024. We'll go ahead and import that back to GIMP. This way we can see exactly how it's mapped. You'll notice the texture's upside down. Uh, all of the textures in Cyberpunk, or almost all of them, are upside down. So you make sure um, that when you add new textures, let's go ahead and add Sammy here. The first thing you want to do is uh, flip it. It's not the same thing as rotating. Make sure you flip vertically. Let's move that into place here. Take care that it's within the UV grid there. Delete the UV grid and the original texture here. So you've got just Sammy left for our new decal sheet. Go ahead and export that back to TGA. We'll find that within WolvenKit. What we're going to do as a workaround here is use paint.net, which is a free tool uh, that can export textures to DDS correctly. Um, the reason we do that is WolvenKit uh, at this time uh, doesn't accept uh, TGA textures. So what we need to do is uh, save as a DDS, um, the same as the original game format. So we'll go to sRGB uh, with BC7 uh, compression. And let's generate MIP maps with super sampling and save that. If you've got Photoshop, Photoshop can do this uh, natively with its own DDS plugin. Okay, we'll do a little bit of cleanup here. I don't have to do this, but just showing you how to clean up uh, some source files that we don't need anymore, like the UV uh, and the original texture. Multi select and delete those. And let's try importing the texture. Oh no, <laughs> you'll see that we have got this error here. 
Uh, what this says is the texture doesn't have a counterpart in the mod folder. Now, right now, WolvenKit can't generate textures without a source file. So all we have to do is rename the uh, casual tattoo. The content of the file doesn't really matter. Okay, now that matches our custom texture. And let's try again. Okay, you can see that white, uh, white text there, which means success. Image preview hasn't been updated yet, so let's just click that, and there we go. There's our custom texture. The next thing we have to do is assign uh, this texture uh, to our mesh here with Woven Kit. So what we're going to do is edit the material JSON uh, and change that vanilla texture path to our custom one. That way, when we re-import the mesh, it is pointing to our new texture. Okay, we'll save that. We'll close this. And let's try importing the uh, new decal mesh. And that looks successful. We're just about done. The uh, last thing we're going to do is a little bit of cleanup here. Um, kind of an unintended uh, feature, we'll say, of uh, Wolven Kit right now is the import utility generates the sound uh, folder. So let's go ahead and delete that. Okay, now let's go ahead and pack. You see the uh, mod gets automatically installed to the game, so we just click Pack Project, and that's it. Let's have a look in game now. Okay, now we're in game, and we can see the Sammy icon has been applied uh, over Judy's rose textures on her neck. Uh, we can tell it's a brand new texture as well because it hasn't affected the decal sheet uh, for the rest of her tattoos. Hope you guys uh, found this video helpful, and uh, you can look forward to seeing some more feature guides uh, from us in the future. Thank you, and stay tuned.